two, three, and we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, EORTs. My name is Jimmy, your humble host today. As always, is my co-host, uh, Josh, from Josh Chris Arts. He's going to continue to work on those. Uh-oh, I got the thing. What did you get? Feedback. I boomered it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm pointing too hard. No, it was, it was me. It was me. I, I don't think you could hear it because uh, it was coming in through my headset. But then hearing myself talk on Echo is is kind of frustrating. So yeah, that wasn't a good that wasn't a good look. Risey Lee, what's up, buddy? Let me pop the chat out so I can keep track of what's going on. Hey, Risey, thank you for joining us. Um, I was doing the introductions and then I boomed it. <laughs> so, so once again, my name is Jimmy from EORTs. My co-host is Josh from Josh Chris Arts. Uh, we're here today uh, trying to do another little draw stream and whatnot. Hopefully, y'all enjoy some of the, I'm not here, whatever this thing says, Durkin, Dragon, I should say. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, today, Josh, Josh is going to be continuing to color some of his... Uh, <clears throat> pieces for his uh for his comic con appearance and here we are putting the screen on josh because josh doesn't talk much i do most of the talking that's some of josh's art he'll be doing some copic strokes over it it's pretty amazing i think y'all will enjoy it a lot i'll be doing most of the uh talking and less drawing i do most talking and less drawing I should do the opposite so I can actually get better one of these days, I think. But I've been sketching at work and whatnot. So I got so I'm, I'm still working. But this dynamic seems to work well for Josh and myself. So um, I hope you all enjoy the broadcast. Josh, you want to say hello to the wonderful guests that have joined us? See, I've been sitting here talking the whole time. I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> I was like, why is he not hearing me? Like, oh, no. There's a there's a light. <laughs> no. It happens sometimes. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, if y'all have not uh, sub to mine or Josh's channel, I guess I should drop the links. That would be helpful. Uh, let me move this over to the other screen. I'm trying to work on a logo. So I'm not putting that out just yet. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Well, until I get more browns, scarecrows out. Oh, yeah. I've got two browns that I don't have refills for. And until we get me and the wife and the family going out this weekend. So oh. I'm purposely going to be trying to buy purples or pinks or hot pinks that match Boo's colors. That way we can get Boo done because I don't have anything near his colors. Um. So it looks like it's going to be Midnight from My Hero Academia. Hey, Josh, I got another one of those Michaels, 50% off one one item. <laughs> I'll <laughs> give you the coupon code if you want it. No, normally we go to Hobby Lobby, dude. Hobby Lobby has such a better variety of colors. Yeah. Yeah, they, they always have a 40% off one item. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but Michael sometimes has it off the whole purchase. I got a one. I got right, Michael's. Michael's only has oh, like ten. That's a long link. Let me retract this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael's only has like ten colors sometimes. Not the. It'll have like your basic reds and blues, but it won't have the special pinks I'm looking for. Or special browns I need. Right. All right. So. Hey, Durkin. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Let me drop Josh's link. Now oh, that's the right link. Wow. Talk about talk about senior moments. <laughs> talk about senior moments. Oh, of course. Uh, well, hopefully some some of the regulars would join. I sent the invitation out to Cat. Okay. Um, and you know, like I always, you know, I told her don't rush. You know, there's there's no stress. I uh, sent the invitation out to Manny, you know, because it's always good to have uh, another Islander on. Uh, I can send it to Chester, but I think Chester has drawn and quarter fan edition. That is evening. tonight. That is tonight. 
So I'll send it in case he wants to jump in for a quick minute. Yeah, I meant to watch that too because I wanted to see how the pro how it was done. You know, that's the only reason I didn't I didn't want to jump in is because you know I want to be like sure I'll do it. And so I'm like, what well, what am I doing? You know, so I wanted to watch it. Both okay, Fitbiter, our humble moderator says both of you need to keep checking your custom links for YouTube. I guess we must be messing up. <laughs> oh, he's meaning the um, the special URL that's actually like ERTs at YouTube.com and Josh Chris Art at YouTube.com or whatever it is. The the yeah. actual URL he's talking about. We checked it the other day for me and I wasn't um, eligible. Oh, so I got to check to see if I'm eligible? Yeah, yeah it might be something you want to look into. Ah. I see, said the blind man. <laughs> then look, I'm teaching you something. <laughs> it happens. Hey, holy. This one. That's a pretty one. Ding, ding. What mine says. <laughs> See, I got what he meant. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole truckload of numbers and letters and blasty, blasty, blast. All right. Well, tomorrow we'll, we'll talk about it and um, we'll figure out what I need to do about that. Yeah, it's just inside your normal settings. There's a, a link you can get to that, it, that you can um, see if you're eligible to actually have your name and your, your uh, URL. Um, I wasn't, so we are just giving it time to see if it actually popped up. And I don't have a sacrificial piece of paper. There it is. Huh. So we know these are skin tones that we're going to be using. Up here. The reds are for certain parts. Dude, how many markers do you have? Uh, well, there's all my purples. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Have you not seen the box, bro? Look, man. Look. <laughs> to a colorblind person, that's just way too many purples, man. I mean, yeah, here's here's the box. And it's just offset, but yeah, there's the thing gets filled, and that's just the markers. That's not the refills. Mm -mm. Like I said, that's not. You know, I didn't buy them all right out. I'd, I'd be doing a character like this, and I go, okay, you know, what's the colors of the character? And I'd research, and I'd find the colors that best suit that character, and I'd go buy those if I didn't have them. Yeah, I know that yours says that one. Actually, yours used to say your name. Right, and that's what he's saying. We need to make sure and double check if, if we're eligible. Yeah, I definitely double check on that tomorrow, man. That's a that's a very good thing. I appreciate that tip. Always, Bit biter always looking out for us. My wife's saying there's a whole bunch of wrecks and black ice around the area right now. Yeah. No, this she's got a very strange color to her hair yeah you can change it i bet jimmy is tweet i'm right now I'm, no right now i'm tweeting that uh hosting josh and his amazing copic artwork because you know i want more people to see it um i'm gonna try to be on chester busby's uh um channel sometime this weekend to talk it up let's see if we can get more people to follow josh and uh and all that good stuff you know Get him some, get him some more love. Speaking of love, I am at 98 subs. Pretty freaking amazing for a guy that does a lot of talking and nothing else. Let me see. It's been a while since I got in a sub. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta keep it low. People are, you know, it's it's tense, tense today, tense. Um, do I go? Bit by it, I go to my creator studio. Where do I go to, or just to my settings, or where do I go? Mm -hmm. 
I'm calling those images, and the more I call the Cyberfrog and Lone Star, the more I hate them. <laughs> well, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, um, those things happen. Uh, my channel. Hmm. It's a very strange blue that she has in her hair. No. Oh, you hate metal? And Dragon says he hates metal. He he can't figure it out. Josh, you got any tips for metal? You mean like Colossus metal? Yeah, like, like coloring. Metal? I mean, yeah. most of the time you just get away with it with keeping it white and and just doing some really cool black ink effects to it you know thin lines here big blotch there um the other key thing is to um if you're doing if you're doing copic um metal is all over cyberpunk so metal plastic okay um if you're doing copic markers i don't know if you are um what i normally do is i will leave white around the edges and uh, I'll just do some light shades of like C1 or C3 uh, and maybe a hint of a C5 here and there. And I don't have, let me see. Give me a second. I might have a character that might help you out if you're doing Copics. Are you using Photoshop? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a different, that's a different ball game. Cause like, you know, doom here. I use different codes of gray to do his metal to make it shine here and there, but I always use the white as as just a standoff part, just blend off there. Um, for Photoshop, you know, myself, I haven't really done. Look, let me make sure I'm telling you right. Who I got? Hello. Hey, Kat. Hey, Kat. How are you doing today? Uh, good. I'm a little disoriented. I just woke up. Oh, you know, if you're just waking up, you know, don't. I, I feel bad now. Like, <laughs> no, I was just taking a nap, and uh, I wanted to be up before uh, the drawing and quarter edition anyway. Yeah. Well, you get an hour, and then uh, I'm trying to keep it for an hour. I'm trying to keep it under an hour to uh, about an hour mark because I know a lot of people want to jump on that. But I just want you know to. Get Josh on here. And see, that's the only metal I've done is like Wolverine's claws or or um, spawns uh, uh, chains and stuff. And you know, just I just blend a few colors here and there, and then just let the eye just play its effects on it. And just go with that. But I haven't really done anyone else that actually has metal on Photoshop. Most of my Photoshop is usually stuff that. Little kids want and posters of Dragon Ball guys and anime stuff so that don't really have metal on them. I don't know if I have a blue that matches that. Oh, <laughs> hey, thanks. Yeah, I need to re up some of my uh, Marvel posters. It's been a while since I've done any. Like I said, usually posters are Pokemon related because um, they. Uh, they sell better. I don't have a purple for that. I don't think. I'm gonna take a look. One more look, and then if not, we'll just do something different with her hair. Hmm. That's. A, I don't think that'll work. But we'll take a look at it. You got them. See, you, you, and then you accidentally you, you buy the wrong colors sometimes, and you end up with the Copics that you'll never use ever again. They just sit there because they're bright freaking blues that just don't go with anything else. I'm just going to wing it. Right, so he says sweet Wolverine. Dragon says that's pretty much why I'm calling things in general. They get followers and subscribers rather than trying to get someone to read. <laughs> Indeed. All right. 
um, overhook. This counter, is that you? That is you, so blue-violet. And E15, okay. All right, I quote unquote claimed a custom URL, URL, but I don't know how long it takes for it to transfer over. And it's just gonna be your T's. Cool. I need to check that here in a little bit, see if I got one. Yeah, you meet the requirements, at least 30, 30 uh, subs, so. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I was reading at it and um, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Well, sweet. I got that, then. Yeah. Tank, you want to jump on, bud? Or are you, are you good being on, in the sidelines for the day? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, no, it still says I'm ineligible for custom URL, even though I grabbed it on the other side. Oh, oh well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Doom, 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 doom. It's all good. So, Cat, what are you? Oh, Cat is on mute. Never mind. Oh, I'm back. Sorry, <laughs> shuffling around, getting stuff ready. <laughs> no worries. What are you going to dazzle us with today? Oh, I don't even know. You guys should give me something. Yeah, last See, time I gave you something, you killed it. So now I can't give you anything. <laughs> What were you gonna say, Josh? I said, well, she did one Roman last and Starfire. So since I know you can do DC, why don't you choose a Marvel character? Okay. I wanted to do a domino. Oh wow, okay. Domino, okay. Well, she's really good at drawing the female figures, so I figured it won't be too hard. Any any version you choose though, cat. All right. I'm going to have to go grab my phone then. Be right no back. worries. Uh, Tank says he's game, so if you want to shoot him one. Yeah, I'm trying to find him on Twitter. I don't know what his freaking Twitter handle is. Apparently, uh, it's not uh, Tank Ferret. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but I saw it. I'm working on it. Yeah. Tank, what's your Twitter, bro? Will they force me to use brushes and markers? I hate it and then come out looking. You know, I don't do very much in Photoshop. I really need to. I've probably said it a couple times. I'll say it again. The only time I ever do Photoshop is when I deem that a piece is worthy enough to become a poster. And if it's not, it. then I will, I'll, I'll do it Copic. Um, Cause I will sell the original like this at my cons. Um, but if, I just, I, unless I think that it's good enough to where I can, I can make a couple posters out of it. Then I, I just don't want to take the time of doing Photoshop. I got you, buddy. I found you. And people don't use Wilco. They don't know what that means. Huh? The tank is using military lingo. Like people don't know what Wilco means. I know what it means. Boom. Message sent. All right. Let's see. I've invited to animation school. That's awesome. I, I didn't, I, if I hadn't stopped drawing whenever I did, I might've gone on to school or, or, or gone to some art academy of some sort. I, I didn't, I didn't do anything like that. I just, just drew for fun here and there. And that was about it. That's all I ever did. And welcome Tank Ferret to the stream. Hey, Hi, thank you very much for having me. How you guys doing? How y'all doing? Doing good, Tank. Hey, Tank. You got, 
We got the lovely Miss Cat. Or as I call it. I voted for last night in our booster boy draw. <laughs> <laughs> Thank which, you. Which uh, I'm changing her name to Wildcat. I think, uh, you know, even though she's very tame. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she did bring up the whole Sugar Shack thing. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe she is a little wild. I'm never going to see that word the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, that looks amazing. I love the line art on that. That's real clean, man. Josh is my hero. <laughs> he may be replaced by Cat, though. <laughs> yeah, Josh, you're you are a really, really good colorist here. I can't wait to see this thing come undone. Copic markers are just absolutely phenomenal to work with. Josh, brush your hair. Send away. <laughs> I gotta love it. Tank, what you working on today? Today, uh, I'm actually spending a little bit of time with the family, just kind of chilling. Nice. Uh, later tonight, I'm going to go on to Good Dog Press, and I'm going to draw up the next uh, Scalpel Zero promotional piece. I, I definitely want to join um, Manny's channel one of these nights when I can actually stay awake long enough or don't have to go to work at 7 in the morning. All right. Yeah, it is a killer. I mean, I, I like it, you know, because you get home earlier, but I just don't like getting up because, like, I wanted to do these streams and, and uh, you know, hang out with you. All you guys are so amazing, dude. It's uh it's like an honor and a privilege to hang out with all you guys and see all your artwork and gives me something to shoot for because you know my artwork is still, you know, I'm still learning. But <laughs> developing. It's developing, man. It's, I'm developing. It's, it's watching a you're watching a flower grow. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Regan in development. Seen it blossom yet. They call me the developing Regan. Sounds like a third world. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As soon as uh oh, so Cat is gonna draw a domino for us because I chose a Marvel character and Cat is really good at drawing um drawing uh, the female physique, you know. So I figured this should be interesting. I think Cat is up to the challenge. I think she's gonna knock it out of the park. Just trying to find I a good outfit. No pressure. Cat, that sucks to hear, man. I you know, I hate to hear that you went for a year to a scam school. That's awful. Wow, we got a Ray Escarcega sighting. I like saying that dude's last name. He's just cool. Me they were too. legit. <laughs> Dragon says Escarcega. they were legit. Escarcega. Escarcega. I, I, I make it sound different, like Escargo. I mean, like I'm trying to make him French or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon says there were legit artists there and all that, but they clearly weren't teachers for the most part, and the school itself tried to burn you, burn you out of, burn you out as such. It sounds like my IT school. Ugh. I was like, man, by the time I was done, I didn't want to do no computer work. I still yeah, don't. there's <laughs> like art school, art school, man. Um, I've only found two art schools that are actually worth mentioning, and that's the uh, Art Center College of Design in Pasadena and the Noman School of Arts. What? Um, yeah. Um, both of those, they they really stick it to you. Both of them ha have have few things in common. They're both taught by practicing industry professionals who have been employed in the last three years. So you're not being taught by failed artists. You're being taught by people who've made their money doing it. Uh, another thing that's really good about it is that they both offer part time and full time. Uh, study programs and they're intense so if you're doing part-time study you have four hours of classwork and you have four hours of homework if you're doing full-time you have eight hours of classwork eight hours of homework welcome to what it is like to actually be an artist for a living um, and that's only two and a half years uh, the Pasadena Art Center called uh-oh 
College of Design has a 95% out the door. 95% went there to show portfolio to the Dean of Illustration, to the Dean of Fine Art, and the Dean of Cinematography. I met a guy who, a scout from uh, Lucasfilm, from uh, Industrial Light and Magic, from the, uh, from, the, uh, from the ranch, from the Skywalker Ranch. Nice. He looked through my portfolio and said, hey, when you graduate, uh, we can give you a job right now. Uh, we're not hiring for a whole bunch, but how's 165 a year to start sound? It sounds like I was like, um, it sounds OK. <laughs> you know, <laughs> call me. <laughs> yeah, no, I know because it's like four thousand dollars a month. Wow. Yeah, but you know, and oh, trust me, I, I, I had really wished that I had been a credit guy because I, I never bought anything on credit. Um, very rarely have I ever bought anything on credit in my life. I'm a save up the money and buy it when I can afford it person. Right. And that came to bite me in the butt right then and there, because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get the student loan big enough for that. But man, oh, dude, it would have been paid off. <laughs> I would have lived in a crack shack for a year and a half and paid off all my debts. But Noman, on the other hand, is real cheap. Um, you could, uh, they have locations throughout Southern California. They also have an online, um, they have an online curriculum as well. Uh, and they're totally worth looking at. I mean, if you're going to throw money towards somebody teaching you art, let it be somebody who's made money doing that art not um not a failed artist that's the scam school that uh, draken is probably talking about is those scam schools with these like the art teacher i had who uh spent more time bragging about how he was once nominated for an academy award than he did teaching his students uh how to get their own academy awards that sucks Let's see. Dragon says, and I don't even have an interest in drawing the same thing over and over again, which you know is bad for you know animation. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a thin herd today. Um, I guess everybody's getting prepped for that drawn and quartered. It is. That starts in uh, what about half an hour? In half an hour, yeah. So this is gonna be a short stream because I don't want to interrupt that. I don't. I want y'all to go over there and enjoy it. I don't want y'all to have to choose between streams, you know. I'm planning on haunting the chat. That sounds... Uh, hey, William Reed. How you doing this evening? What is up, William Reed? Seems like we got the the faithful, sub, the faithful uh, subs in here tonight, and y'all are greatly appreciated. Uh, in case you're new to the channel, um, please hit like and subscribe. And also... Um, if you're not subscribed to Josh, Josh has a channel. Uh, Bitbiter will drop the link at his leisure. Please make sure you go visit him. He has a few videos because we alternate channels between mine and his, so he can get uh, he can get a lot of love over there as well. So uh, check that out and uh, like and subscribe over there as well. It would be greatly appreciated, and uh, you can see more of Josh's uh, coloring and artwork. Hey, but Parsons is in the house. He says, hey, everybody. I was going to do the same kind of school. It would have been around 81000 to go full time. Yeah. Mm. Ray Escarcea, yeah. they say. I heard Tank 1. And uh, William Reed is, is uh, saying hi to everybody. Ray Escarcea. Yeah, I won the, uh, the fan edition uh, last week, and I went to the pros yesterday. How do you go? Yeah. How did it go there for you? Um, well, I looked at the straw poll today. I am in, not in last place. Yeah, I was just talking <laughs> to uh, Pixel Trader. He said that the um, straw poll wasn't looking good. I told him he might want to check into the uh, into the way the SQL uh, database is running. That it might have been, you know, people doing a, a little bit of shenanigans in the background. 
he's uh, he's he's working on the the layout right now, and he's getting into the coding for our own uh, straw poll. So that way, if there is an issue like this that pops up, you know, he has access to all the analytics, and he can figure out what the problem is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, William Reed says, "Not in last place is a good place." And uh, Dragon says, especially when I found out the writer knew that it was a scam when they wrote when they were when they wrote the article. Oh. Man, I was tongue tied on that one just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh oh, let me start. Um, hold on, Josh. I know you're doing some great work, but I think uh, Cat is laying some pencils down. Go go ahead. And uh. I'm trying to keep it on the artist today because uh, that's what they come to see. Plus, nobody wants to look at me sketching a logo, trying to sketch out a new logo for myself. That's boring. Boring. I'm just figuring out my, my base. You can kind of ignore me for now. I haven't done anything official yet. I don't know. I see blue lines. No, we like watching the foundation go in. Okay. Did you change your nail color from yesterday? Uh, no, it's the same thing. It's kind of oh, okay. chipped now, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. But that's okay. I'm colorblind, so maybe I, it was a different thing going on. So let's go back to the color master, Josh. <laughs> Why is race car Sega trying to steer something up? Talk about if you're not first, you're last. Ray is kind of sick. Oh, it's the uh, it's the cult of Raven. You see, if you understand who Raven is, she is daughter to Trigon, and she is the embodiment of the sin of pride. Ah. So I have failed the cult of Raven. I have failed to live up to the pride that they had put in me. So they are uh, they're justifiably upset. All right. Well, you know, let them be upset in their own corner. That'd be all right. <laughs> I don't, you know what? If Kat doesn't have a channel, she should really have a channel. She is really amazing. Right? She needs a uh, zippy co host. <laughs> Thank you. I don't, I don't know if I'd be good enough, um, like, for like commenting and keeping people <laughs> interact, like, interested. That's why I have a Jimmy. Yeah, I, I do that for our other channels as well. Uh, John Dillard, when I can come on his, I go on his, and they, they seem to like me there. Um, that's how Ray Escarcega found me. Uh, <laughs> they seem to like that that I'm, uh, what do they call me today? A chatterbox. They say, uh, I keep it moving, keep it lively, keep it interesting. And it's always that's what a good host does. You know, and that's uh, that's always interesting. You know, you gotta have a, a combination of, of a mouthpiece, uh, great art, um, and some uh, wonderful people in in uh, in the panel. You know, that are uh, that are willing to display their uh, artistic prowess. So, uh, Rice, uh, go ahead. oh, go right ahead. No, Rice Lee said you should make a channel, Cat. Just find a co-host to help. Now, Cat. We're, we'll be more than happy to help you uh, on the co-host level if, if you decide to build until you find someone that's more your speed um, or more to your liking. But you are always welcome on this, mine and Josh's channels, until you do so. By the time you build your channel, people will be ready to jump on yours, and you'll be subbed up in no time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that's right. And you're always welcome on good on Good Dog Press. I can speak for Manny in that regard, <laughs> especially now that you're queen of the Booster Boys. Wait, what? <laughs> Speaking of Manny, I invited his uh, tail over, but I guess I don't know what he's going on. He got going on because you know Manny I, is. Uh, I think he's competing tonight, isn't he? So he's getting ready. Oh, to... All right. Jay Potts is in the house. He's another one of our of our faithful subs. Thank you for joining us. He says, "Don't make me look at your proudness," and he laughs <laughs> maniacally and uncontrollably through the chat. Actually, he just said "lol," but you know, I'm over dramatic Puerto Rican. That's yeah. what we do. 
Yeah, sometimes you gotta flower things up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, Excelsior. It's what Stan would have wanted. Indeed, indeed. Uh <laughs> Said Ray Escarcega, they said, I like Ortiz. He's a great personality. Well, thank you, Ray Escarcega. Dragon says, is proudness a new word for boobs? I do not know. William Reed, her leather looks bad. Alpha Sierra Sierra. Trying to keep myself <laughs> from uh, from being a, uh, you know, keeping it keeping it PG. And J-Pot said spicy. <laughs> well, thank you. I was uh, nervous doing this character. Um, I I'd only re I'd only started watching the show, and I was like, you know, I should start drawing some of these characters. Because my last con, um, people saw my Vegeta and my Goku posters, and they were like, hey, have you ever drawn this cartoon? I was like, I've never even watched it. And they're like, well, you really should. So I didn't think too much about it. I was like, oh, whatever. And finally, one guy was like, dude, the guy who does Vegeta's voice does the main character's voice. I said, oh, well, now I'm going to have to watch it. Thanks. And uh, fell in love with this show. Daggum, it's, it's an amazing show. And, of course, on Josh's channel, we're a little bit more uh, more progressive than in mine. You know, we have different rules. You can go over there and act a fool. <laughs> Another plug for your channel just in case. Uh oh, Mrs. Gaming the System showing us some love, retweeting that we're up. Aww. And Chester says he cannot come because he is running the Drawn and Quarter fan edition. It's all good, Chester. We still love you. What about the C10? It's pretty good. I need to get back to it. See, I, I don't. I don't have any live television that actually plays it. So I have um, Hulu and they only get, you know, the back stuff for a little bit. So um, they have to season three dubbed. Oh, I'm sorry, subbed. Um, and they have season one and two that are actually dubbed. And I want to hear the dubbed version because that's where Christopher uh, does the voice acting of All Might. So I'm waiting until... They actually get the dub version on Hulu for me to be able to watch it. Uh, Which and catch show up. Um, are, you, are you drawing from? Huh? Like your character. Uh, which show is your character from? Uh, My Hero Academia. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, I've, I've never seen it before, but my friend really likes it. You need to. I'm, I'm serious. I, I watched the first episode cracked up because of the comedy and binge watched it the entire rest of the weekend. <laughs> This is gaming assisting is is asking uh, Mr. Ray Escarcega what his channel is because Ray is inviting everybody to his channel and specifically Cat. When I met, I said when I said everybody, I meant Cat. Um, let's see, Ray Escar Ray Escarcega says somebody on the panel is almost as sexy as Sexy Rick. Um, Dragon says dub version. Miss Gaming the System ask about the channel. I don't know where it's up to. And good evening, Chat. Good evening, Mrs. John. Gaming the system, Dillard, or Miss Gaming the system. So, Miss Gaming the system, let me ask you something. If John is gaming the system, are you gaming John? Because if you game John, then by proxy, you're also gaming the system. Does this make any sense? I don't know. And when is John going to have Rachel back on his channel? Yeah, Ray Escarcega, Miss GTS put you on blast. Just like that. Uh oh, and Dragon is uh, giving thanks for a follow from Miss GTS. Miss GTS is uh, is a wonderful lady. She puts up with John Gaming the System Dillard or John Dillard Gaming the System. I always mess his name up. It makes him really upset. Kind of enjoy doing it though because it does make him upset. But don't tell him that. Plus, he was trolling me earlier. So, hmm. Let's see. And Cat is, is throwing some lines. Tent Ferris, <laughs> the phone died. 
I was wondering what happened, Tang. It's like, okay, he got. I guess I didn't let him talk enough. He just left. Like, fine. I'll take my football and leave. Let's see. Let me click over on Joshua. Was making progress. <clears throat> Doing the Copic magic. All right. What color is? <laughs> Yo no say. Grab my warm grains. Uh, my cat isn't letting me type anymore. <laughs> Who is Josh drawing right now? As soon as Josh finished beating up the markers, he will let you know. Um, this is Midnight from My Hero Academia. Where's Gray One? And uh, Dragon <laughs> Dragon says his cat is uh is is nestled up on his keyboard and typing numbers. Oh, everybody on this chat is so cordial. This GTS is saying you're welcome. Dragon is saying thank you. That's, I don't need that. That's too dark. All right. Five. Mm -hmm. Too dark. We'll keep it just in case though. You're watching the process of the Josh. Makes more sense. And the first one. So. Three. Jay Potts has a professional question to Josh. Never, uh, he actually is a statement, but I guess it's in, in a question mark. Never <laughs> used Copic markers, got heavy into watercolor back in the day. Do you need a heavy paper stock with Copic? Um, you need a, a, a Bristol. I use Bristol's one of these, um, a hundred pound. So, I mean, it's, it's just the basic Bristol boards. Um, nothing special. Um, uh, with Copics, you can get to a point where if you, if you're blending a lot of different reds and oranges and that type of stuff together, um, it doesn't need effect where it will seep through and you can literally ink the other side. Um, and so like where I have a lot of, if I have a lot of Deadpool characters I'm doing, um, and I just blend a whole bunch of reds and oranges together to make his costume pop out. It literally looks like a two-sided, two-sided image on the back. No, it's not an actual fact. It, you know, it's just, it, it, Copics just blend so well. It's like, I'll take, I'll take that effect. And, and I've used a couple different kinds of, of Bristol boards as well, trying to figure out what I like. And, um, I use Canson. I think the Canson boards do really well with with Copics, and uh, and they give me a nice nice effects on on my pages. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip over the cat. She's muted, but she's drawing intently. So if you want to look at her real quick, because I, I gotta refill these, and no one likes to watch refill of markers. No, cat is uh whoa. Cat got a, a pose with a gun and everything going on. I don't know if y'all can tell. She's doing she's doing big things. <laughs> yeah, J Pots, they're expensive. Uh, you have to try to get them on sale. That's the only way I can afford them. Or Josh has a favorite technique in which he gives his family uh, a set of Copics. That he needs for his Christmas gifts, and they will just buy him Copics for yeah, Christmas. I my whole family. Um, I'll go to dickblick.com and I will uh, open up a cart with my name, and I'll say, "Here's all the stuff I need slash want." And um, come Christmas, then I will see what I got. And if I didn't get any the stuff that I, you know, if I didn't get all of it, then I'll go back and I'll just buy what I needed. So if your family loves you like they love Josh, you might get some Copics. 
if your family doesn't love you, like they don't me, you're on your own. I'm always on my own. It's a rough world out there, especially during winter time. Well, they last forever, actually, because those are refillable. Uh, you can buy ink and refill the ink. You can uh, remove the tips. Uh, so basically, the, the marker itself will last you a lifetime. You know, everything is, is interchangeable, replaceable, and refillable. If that makes any sense, Jay Potts. Yeah, so, I mean, if you, you want to pan to me real quick, you can see it. And I will now demonstrate, not me, but Josh is going to demonstrate how he refills the markers. Like, like Jimmy was saying with the Copics, both tips, <coughs> sorry, um, both tips are interchangeable and replaceable. And anytime you've got nibs that go bad, you can buy replacements. You can buy, I think, these in like packs of three or four for a couple bucks. And these come in like packs of five or six for a couple bucks. And then, um, of course, then the refills. And on you can catch these on certain websites for like five, six dollars a piece. And they refill your stuff up to eight to ten times. So you can use this for more than a year. I've got certain colors um, I got refills for two years ago. And I've never ran out of. And then I have other ones I literally uh, say I need two of these refills because I will go through these certain blues or these certain reds um, fairly quickly throughout the year. Yeah. And there you have it, J Potts. But Josh also colors on Photoshop, but these are um art this is uh artwork for a Comic Con coming up. So he does these all with Copic. Yeah, I'll move this more towards the center. Now I got this caddy cornered, so there's Mark will be using sacrificial. Move this back in the middle with the light. <laughs> J-Pot says, wow, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So what we got Josh for? Oh. He's my hero. Although Cat may be soon replacing him. Oh, oh, I see how that is, man. Nah, I'm just messing. I'm not giving up on Josh. <laughs> we got plans. I think we got to play pirates. Oh yeah, is that gonna happen on Friday? What are we doing Friday? I'm playing Pokemon. So did you figure out what capture card you needed? <laughs> it ain't gonna happen anytime soon, man. You know, it's it's uh, I won the capture card for tomorrow, so it's just it's just not gonna happen. Uh, well, so if you all don't know. Uh, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee comes out tomorrow. I'm a huge Pokemon first fan, you know, the, the first generation of Pokemon. Um, I draw a lot of Pokemon stuff for kids. First so, generation was the best. Exactly. And so, uh, <laughs> oh, cat came out of nowhere. <laughs> real loud, too. First generation is the first. <laughs> <laughs> that was my childhood. Cat came out of nowhere. She was muted. But and Pikachu was Pokemon. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've, I've been super excited that they were, they introduced, um, Pokemon to the switch. It's the whole reason I, uh, I wanted to get a switch was for that. So it's here tomorrow. Josh is playing Pokemon. Yeah, I have a switch as well, but not for Pokemon. <laughs> You'll be surprised how many, uh, triple A games are on switch right now. I find it very hard to, to actually uh, play anything on it right now. I, I've got games I like, like I've got we've got Mario Party, but you know that's that's one you got to have friends to really play. You want to play Mario Party by yourself? Um, I got Harvest Moon on it because I'm a big Harvest Moon fan. Um, uh, my wife has a, that Toadstool game. I don't remember what else we got. I don't have a Switch, but if I did, I would. The only reason would be for Zelda, the newest Zelda game. That yeah. is amazing. And I got, I got kind of bored with it, and I'm gonna beat it. But I got really upset with the whole. Um, oh no, my sword broke. 
Oh, yeah, know yeah, show, yeah. Bro. I don't know um, what it's broke. Yeah, I don't like that either. And uh, Ray Scarcega dice, él tiene tatuajes de Pokémon por todo su cuerpo. I don't know if that's true or not. I think he's trolling, but basically he said he has three tattoos of Pokémon. I believe it. I've got a Zelda tattoo, so. Ray Scarcega, show and prove. Show and prove. Actually, my, my next tattoo I'm wanting to get is um, kind of like a... a, a uh, I don't, you you call your arm a sleeve. I don't know what do you call your leg. You also call your leg a sleeve. If you're uh, getting like a huge part of it done, I guess it's still a sleeve. You can call it a sock if you want. Okay, I'm gonna I'm planning on getting a sock. Uh, <laughs> a Pokemon on on my my leg. Yeah, I think it's still called a sleeve. Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. My brother's a tattoo uh, artist. I'll ask him. My brother's a jack of all trades. I don't know what he's doing from day to day. I never got a tattoo before, but uh, a couple of years ago, I had a roommate who was trying to convince me because there was like a tattoo convention going on. Uh -huh. And he was trying to convince me to go down there and get a tattoo. And I'm like, what would I get it of? And he's like, oh, your favorite video game. And he's like, get the Triforce. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> that is very tempting, but I would regret it. <laughs> well, the tattoo I got... Um... I have two other brothers that are younger and we all got the same Zelda tattoo and I got the Triforce of power. One got the Triforce of courage. Oh. One got the Triforce of wisdom. Oh, so you have two sisters that would work, but neither of them likes Zelda. Or uh, video games. No, we were all fans. And so I, I had the idea and we had the design. I was yeah. like, well, one day we'll that, do it. That and that's pretty cool. Well, my, immediate, my my younger brother, not youngest, but the younger brother, he's in the Navy. And all of a sudden, he sends me a photo, and it's it's on his forearm. He's like, okay, your turn now. I was like, oh, it's going to have to happen. So uh, I'll, whenever I was in Florida with, with my family down there visiting my family, um, we, we made it happen. I said, it's, 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 it's go time. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Dragon says, uh, Pokemon always bothers me playing because I can't just make a Pokemon game that fixes just about everything that I have with them if I wanted to. And then uh, Ray Escarcega dice, you can ask Mrs. GTS. Mrs. GTS, if you're still on the chat and you're listening, can you confirm or deny Mr. Ray Escarcega's claim of having Pokemon tattoos? So we'll wait for that one. We'll see. Yeah, I'm wanting to get like the whole whole calf in front of you know the whole lower leg done in several different pokemon that are first generation my favorite pokemon all right speaking of which those of you that are on the panel that are going over to john and quarter fan edition you've got two minutes this is your two minute warning those of you that are in the chat that are going to go there you have a two minute warning um josh are you uh, planning on going over, or did you want to finish out this before you went out? I'm probably going to finish off this. This isn't going to be very much color to this character. All right. Sounds good. Uh, and Kat, I don't know if that if you want to go over there, uh, you are not pressured to stay, but we always enjoy your company. Oh. Uh, are they starting right they're away? Starting, uh, it's 9.58, so I think they start at 10. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I know that you are. Are you competing? No, 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 no. But I might pop them up on the sidebar just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Right, 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 right. I know Chester wanted me to compete, but I just, I kind of want to, I kind of got to get this done. Yeah. I know, bud, I know. No pressure, no pressure. I know, but I just felt bad because he did invite me. I was like, oh, man, what an honor. But I, I kind of, I got to get this done. You know, I've already yeah. been, I've already paid for the con and everything, so. And they have them every week, so you'll be able to catch one. Yeah. Ricey Lee with the with the four one one. He said, "I just Google it. Leg tats are also usually called sleeves." All right, cool. And Abel Parsons has a professional question. Hey, Josh, how do you choose between full body drawings or half drawings? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I'm real bad about actually doing a full body. Um, if you've 
looked at some of the pictures we've we've colored the past couple of nights. Only a few of them in full body. Most of them parts are hanging off the page, or you know, uh, like like if we we'll take a second. Like here we go, Colossus. Colossus is cut off right above the knee. Didn't have enough room. Too big of a character. And then Black Panther, we're still missing right at the knee. Um, and then we got, and we had Mumra, who who actually did fit. We planned, I planned him pretty well. Then we have Mumra, the Ever Living, who is actually going to fit just minus part of his cape and part of his forearm over here. Um, I don't know. It just all depends on how comfortable I am with the character and and and, and how much detail I'm putting into it. But you know, it's if I'm more comfortable with the character, then you're going to see more of the character on the page. Uh, if I if it's a brand new or if it's kind of a female, then I might try and do like a bust like this. Um, that way, I don't have to really really worry about the legs and the butt and everything else. And I could just I can make this a bigger. That way, I can focus more on the face and, and attitude of the body uh, instead of drawing a whole figure. Uh... <laughs> and you can see how so much someone's willing to pay. See, I don't. I'm I'm a weird artist like that. I don't. Um, if if I I don't really do headshots or, or brush shots. You know, I, th this is the kind of the common stuff I do, and, and so legs are worth five bucks to most artists. <laughs> You're right, though it's it's sad, but you're right. Um, now, you know, if someone if someone commissions something for me, um, I typically the only thing I charge you for is whether you want black or white, or do you want uh, color, and then page size. So if you're doing nine by twelve, or you're doing eleven by fourteen, or you're doing eleven by seventeen, you know, and if you're wanting the color, then I'm going to charge you about ten bucks more for color, just because the Copics. You know, it takes more time out of my day. Uh, and then, this, of course, you know, you're using variations of ink, not just one ink from from my pen, you know. So that's the only reason I charge more for that. But usually if it's 9 by 12, eh, you'll get you'll usually get, uh, you know, at least knee up. You know, unless it's a really cool action pose. I'm really comfortable with the character like like a Venom or or, you know, usually Colossus. Or here we get, you know, Rocket Raccoon that I'm doing for Jimmy's wife. You know, I felt real comfortable with him, so I could just throw him right on here. You know, it's 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 just one of those things. Now, I don't I don't normally go for the whole like you know head shot, chest shot, bust shot, or full body length. I don't really do that. Let's, let's pop in on Cat again. She's muted, so she can't she can't object. <laughs> I'm just having trouble with the head right now. With Domino's head? Yeah, it's just this pose. <laughs> Cat said, man, why? Why did he choose Domino? No, 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 no. It's it's, it's fine. I just uh I'm always trying to I've been I've been trying to do different poses for each time, like right. you know. And uh um sometimes it always helps to look at a reference, but I haven't been. <laughs> I've been just, you know, seeing what I can do from memory. Nice. Uh Dragon says Why did you why did you mention it? Durkin? <laughs> why did you mention life fail? <laughs> oh Lord have <laughs> He doesn't know about the life fail thing. We're about to go from a PG stream to an R. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, no. But no, I'm weird like that, you know, because to me, it's I, I want to. I don't do commissions very often at shows, just because um, I've 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 already got all this stuff prepared, and I myself want to try and enjoy the show as well because I. I'll go to panels or I'll, I'll, I want to get in line for certain artists too, or certain uh, voice actors and get their signatures too. I'm a big nerd. Um, so, but I mean, if you, if you come up to me and you're like, look, dude, I really want you to draw this character. Can you do it? If it's a character I'm really comfortable with, 
then yeah, I'm going to hop on it. You know, I had a guy um, that uh, brought up a book one time and he said, uh, I want you to draw. And he whips out a piece of paper and he's like, uh, any of these characters that aren't marked out, you can draw. Pick one and draw it inside this. And he had a big old thick book of of blanket pages to draw on. So I was like, I was comfortable with Deadpool. So I was like, I'll do Deadpool real quick, you know, if you're cool with that. So I, I did it for him at the con. It, it took me all day to do it. But, you know, I, I, it, like I said, it's just one of those things that I was really comfortable doing that character. You know, if it's somebody off the wall or, you know, can you draw the draw this picture that I have on my phone? I'm, I'm not doing that stuff. Or if you're dressed as a fairy, he doesn't do fairies either. Uh, no, I, you know, I don't mind it, but I'm not going to draw you while you stand there for four hours while I try and get your ear pose correctly. I'm not doing that. Now, the sad part is I've been, <laughs> me and my one-year-old have been watching My Little Pony a lot, and now I'm like, it, Tara Strong does the voice of the main character. Now I've got to draw My Little Pony. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I don't get all the furries, the brownies, the bronies, whatever they're called. They're going to end up at my booth. I'm looking at my, my little pony characters. That'll happen. Oh, no, I've already thought about it. It's like, you know, I can do a really, really cute and and uh, maybe even digitize me a little poster out of it, you know, because kids go crazy over my Pokemon stuff. And so that's why... I, if there's a poster coming, it's 99% of the time it's gonna be a Pokemon of some sort. Um, because I'll do the I'll do big posters of 11 by 17, but then I'll also do uh, little five by sevens um uh that that kids can can pick up for just five bucks. Right. And um and then I kind of make a little game out of it too, because I'll I'll only do one or two new ones out of those. But every time I come to that Lexington Comic Con, um, I'll try to have two new ones every time. So I've, I've got to get two of the. I'm only doing the original 150. So um, I think I'll have Caterpie this time. Uh, and Weedle is definitely going to be on there. And then I got to figure out who else is going to be in that next batch of three that I normally do. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Dragon knows that, that you have an anti Liefeld uh, policy. Yeah, yeah disclaimer. Please don't notify. Please don't notify artists you want to talk about Liefeld. <laughs> Cats over there still putting some nice blue lines down. It's taking shape, digging it, digging it. It's hard find, finding a good reference for costume. There's so many different <laughs> kinds. <laughs> so I, I'm just kind of merging some stuff. Oh, that's Especially they're all front poses too, so I don't have anything of her back. Right. It's okay. It looks like it's taking shape. Do better than I would have done. Heck, man. Shoot. But I probably would have accentuated her hips and her butt because you know that's that's the type of body style I like. So it probably would have not been uh, Domino. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been someone cosplaying as Domino. <laughs> <laughs> Josh laying out. Yeah, so you playing uh you playing Pokemon all day on Friday. You playing Pokemon on Friday then, huh? I'll come play Sea of Thieves. You want to come? If you want to play Sea of Thieves tomorrow night, we can make a stream out of it. We can do it. We need to do it on uh, Bitbiter's channel. Well, we can do it all three of us. You know, you do, do. You know, just put a link in there. So if you want to see from from this person's perspective, click here. If you want to see from this person's pers perspective, click here. Yeah, we could do that. And then for main camera, stick on Bitbiter. Yeah. Bitfighter's always helping us, man. We got to help them out, oh, no, too. I don't have no problem helping him with, you know, doing video game streams and stuff like that. Plus, yeah, well, I was I was thinking about maybe doing a little Red Dead. 
but then it'd probably be laggy because I'll be doing like a workaround to get it on the screen. Because I don't have a capture card. So what I would probably do is go on on that uh, Xbox app and uh, play on the computer. You know, you can like you can play remotely on your on your computer because of Windows Ten. Yeah. And then, but that would be kind of laggy. And then on top of the YouTube lag, that would add extra lag. <laughs> I don't so know how good that would have worked out. Streaming the Twitch, so yeah. I think I don't know. We we should try one of these days on Twitch and see what happens. Well, see, I've already got a Twitch account, but <laughs> it doesn't say Josh Chris on it. <laughs> yeah, should try Twitch one day. See what it does. Said so that one day we thought about it. Jim Lee was streaming, and we know nobody was gonna be anywhere else. <laughs> Like yeah, You'd that was a that was, huh? You'd be surprised though. There's, you know, I've got a few artists I watch on Twitch. That one's a, tat, a, a ta- an artist slash tattooist, and I love watching his stuff. Oh my gosh! If he lived close to me too, I'd be paying for him to do tattoos on me. I mean, oh my gosh, his art is amazing. Yeah, you you must be using Streamlabs or OBS, uh, Dragon. He said he he streams to both simultaneously. And see, I have to, I guess, even for doing the Xbox that way, you know, I could stream Xbox to Twitch, but can you stream Xbox to YouTube from its Xbox itself? No. You have to get the capture card, right? Yeah. And see. I think you do. I don't know. I've never tried. I haven't tried either. I've just always done Twitch from Xbox. I don't know if you have a YouTube app. Shouldn't you be able to go live on the Xbox from the YouTube app? I don't. I don't think so. Hmm. And Jurgen says, "Yep, kind of figure. Kind of figure he was rolling with OBS or Streamlabs." Oh yeah, it's one of the few ways you can do it. One time I streamed from Mixer and YouTube at the same time. But it's like I said, I had to use that uh, the Xbox app on the laptop. Yeah, see, I don't know how you, how YouTube and Xbox works either. I know you can do it straight to Twitch, and I've done that several times. Well, that's it from now on. When I'm on the Xbox, I'm, stre- I'm streaming to a Twitch show. And see, I tried Mixer. I just don't care for Mixer. Yeah, I don't understand it. And Derek says, Dragon says, he doesn't know how that works for that either. So there you go. None of us know. All right. Technically, she's this color down here, too. Yeah. I think uh, our viewership has dropped, which means they probably went over to the John and Quarter Fan Edition. Uh, I figured that was happening. Yeah, it's fine. It is. It's it's not a problem. I don't mind at all. At least we got some new people. At least one or two new people to get eyes on Josh. It's awesome. Pretty awesome. I like that. I like yeah. that. And of course, Cat is here as well, who is who is always a pleasure to have. I think she might be. Oh no, I see paper moving. She's still she's still drawing diligently. Yeah, this uh, pose isn't working out very well for me, so I'm trying to switch the legs around a bit. <laughs> After Comic Con, I can uh, try and hop onto their stream and and actually compete in that competition. That'd be awesome, dude, man. It's good stuff. I think you'd do well. How long do you get to do it? Two hours. Right. Two hours, yeah. So it's uh, surprisingly. Like it, it's like the first time I did it, it went by really, really fast. Yeah, it does when you're concentrating and drawing. I'd just be afraid I would actually wouldn't get it done in time. 
It has yeah. happened before. But that, you don't have to color. It's just. No, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, I can pencil something real quick. But when it comes down to inks, <clears throat> I'm very precise. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, it's yeah. like me. Ah, Jurgen says uh, he doesn't stream two YouTubers or Twitch per se, but a third place, a third party that has, does a simulcast. Nice. So today, in my infinite wisdom, I was today was odd. Buys and tries day. And um, they changed all the gym equipment around to be all this CrossFit boom boom that I don't understand. <laughs> and... Uh, they got a lot of rubbery surfaces, and mm -hmm. I didn't realize that the weights, like, um, so we arm curl with the full 45-pound barbell, and we just add weights to that. So um, we, we have a rack that you put them in or mm -hmm. put them down on. And uh, he had put about 120-some-odd pounds. So we, we arm curled. We were arm curling that, but I was really mm -hmm. tired. So instead of putting it gently onto the little – rubbery thingy i just let go and it bounced <laughs> right off and hit me in the shin oh no and my leg is killing me right now Ugh. yeah i got a little divot like a little dent on my leg from where it hit me i'm surprised it didn't break my leg to be honest with you because it just bounced right out pow Ooh. and uh, yeah i uh uh quite a few years back well like five years ago i used to be in crossfit and uh, I absolutely loved it, but I was in a competition once because um, I did it for about a year and I got actually really strong. Um, I went to a competition. And there was people way better than me. I just went in for experience. And um, when I was lifting the weights, I think it was kind of too heavy for me and I panicked and instead of putting it like instead of just like throwing it down and not really caring mm -hmm. um like the bar was too close to me so I panicked and did this weird twist trying to turn trying to put it down away from so I didn't hit the bar right. or like the um whatever it was called like to hold the weights yeah 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 and ever since then I've had like if I move um like if I twist in that kind of way or like really fast mm -hmm. or if I like if I haven't lifted a lot of weight in a long time and then I lift too much like it, it I don't know I just it's never my back's never been the same yeah no once you mess your back up man it is hard to recover yeah and, and then it's always tweaky like I tweaked my back out the other day um doing uh bent over rows and now I, I got to be really careful I was the guy I live with, he's like a bodybuilder. Like he's, you know, he competes and whatnot. And I'm just an old fat guy, you know. I don't <laughs> know why, I, why I bother to, you know, live with him, but I do, uh, because I guess I'm a nar uh, what do you call it? Not a narcissist, what a masochist. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm a masochist. He's a really good friend of mine too, though. So you know, you know he doesn't charge me or anything. He just kind of works out with me and calls it his workout session. Problem is, he forgets that he's way stronger than me. <laughs> it keeps adding what seems to be insurmountable weights. It leads <laughs> to things that happen a day. <laughs> when I, when I didn't realize that thing was going to bounce out of there because of the rubber. It's like it just caught me completely off guard. So, uh, by the way, which channel is the Drone Quarter on? It's on um, New Hero Comics. It's Halil's channel. He's in Israel. So I don't know what time it is over there. I can drop the link in the thingy once I find it. Hold on, because I'm subscribed to him. I subscribe to everybody that subscribes to me. John and Quarter Fan Edition. 27 watching. Wow. That's nice. Wish I could get 27 people. There you have it. For those of you that are still here and want to go to the 
uh, John and Quarter Fan Edition, there is the link. Everybody just went live at 10 o'clock. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to get out and I'm just going to watch it. I really, really enjoy watching it. Um, no problem. No but problem. thanks for letting me come. So I couldn't have done this any faster. I just got a bit of a sketch done and I reworked it a few times. That's fine. Okay. But, uh, you don't have to apologize, man. We invite you. You come. You got other things you want to do. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Later, Kat. You have a great day. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye. Well, buddy, it's just me and you. Pretty much. It's just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to compete with all these, uh, like, the Drawn and Quarter, Fan Edition, the John Mellon is on, Gary Shipman is on. You know? Well, let me take it off of, off of my ugly mug. And bam, put it back on Josh's beautiful. Oh, Ricey Lee is sticking with us. He said he'll watch the replay. Man, Ricey, you oh. all right in my book. <laughs> Rice, we already we already put in plans too that uh Jimmy's tired. So we were probably gonna end at like 10 30 ish. Yeah. Um, I can't do a uh uh whatchamacallit. I just had a really rough week, man. It's Dude, just been it's right, man. I just really, really had a rough week. I've had to go out of town twice during the middle of the week. It's a couple of hours drive back and forth. Um, you know, it, it's just, I don't know. I try not to let it, you know, bring bring my uh, enthusiasm down towards the channel and the artwork. It's just been a rough week. It's all right, man. And then on top of that, I dropped those weights into that, into that, uh, thing and it bounced right off and hit me that just culminated the rest of my week <laughs> but right Lee, i greatly appreciate i appreciate anybody that stays with us uh, all the views help uh, make sure that you hit like if you like what you've seen from josh because he's the only one drawing because i'm i'm drawing but i'm not really drawing anything i'm working on a logo and i want to try to do i guess since everybody's gone I can go back to sharing what I'm trying to do. But when we got the good the good people in, the good artists, you know, we got to show what, what they're doing. People like Ed Joshua. Yeah, just remember. December, let me look at that. What's happening in December? November 30th, December 1st and 2nd. I won't be streaming with you. Yeah, don't feel bad. Uh, I'm going out of town for Thanksgiving, so. Well, that's the next week. Yep. I'll be going out of town for Thanksgiving. And then December... Eighth is my daughter's wedding, so I'll be going out of town for that weekend as well. Okay. Ouch. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I gotta go see my baby get married. I don't blame you. No. I do blame you, but I don't blame you. Hey, man, look, just life gets gets in the way. But uh, you know, I guess um. It is what it is, man. I, I might make like a quick bid or something like that or try to join you um, through the phone and whatnot. It's kind of a pain in the butt, though, to uh, to do Google Hangouts on the phone. <laughs> yeah. It's a pain, especially for iPhone. I think it's not so much, not so hard for Android, <laughs> but for iPhone, you know, it gets tough. I had to do a lot of uh, rigmaroling. Yeah. Man, we still got four people going strong. I wonder if two of us are me and you, Josh. Oh, yeah. Two of us are you and me. <laughs> Holy crap. Nah, man, it's good. I love it. 
I love it. I wish we could have had more time giving y'all a you know more of a of a better show. All right, man. But you know, tomorrow work Friday. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I got anything planned for this weekend. Like I said, once I um get those colors for Boo, we can hit Boo. So I can. We're, we're supposed to go out Saturday, so maybe Saturday night we can actually get Boo finished. Yeah. Get him out of our face. Oh, Rice Lee said it's been a good show. He has enjoyed it. Well, thank you, Rice Lee. Thanks. We appreciate you. I'm a little subdued today because I'm trying not to be as loud as I normally am. The the people are sleeping in my household already. You know. That belt is looking pretty fly. I'm going to change the tip on this. <laughs> Bending like crazy. Oh, man. Let me find that piece of paper, too. I'm trying to keep a list of my refills. I mean, mm -hmm. you're old school like that. You still keep list. Well, I keep a list on paper. That way I can. Uh, Put on the website. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On that porn site that you use for art. Not a porn site. It's just called <laughs> Dick Blick. I don't know why they call it Dick Blick. I think somebody had a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> Back whenever they first made those ink pens. <laughs> I think someone had a sense of humor, Josh. I don't know. I don't think I'm going like this. I'm going to figure something else out. Wait, your new logo? Yeah, I'm trying to work on something instead of just having, you know, something to put, like when we do the videos, um, something nice to put in front of it. You know, like you could put your character on all, all your videos as a thumbnail. It looks good. I put your character on some of the videos we did together. Yeah. And the thumbnail looks amazing. I'm just trying to do something else. I was thinking That's about actually on my banner and my business cards. Yeah. So I thought about drawing like a left hand with a pencil because I'm left-handed. Uh, I don't know. No say. So. All right, dude. It is 1028. So. You know, uh, we can call it. We can call it. I'll let's hold call it. Colors here. <laughs> I mean, hell, we may just pick up. We may just pick up here as well tomorrow before we actually do video games. Sounds good to me. I mean, there's not much left to the character, so we could do that and then go. Okay, we're gonna go play games. <laughs> yeah, we need some your games. So yeah, we need some. We need some on our time as well. <laughs> All right, well, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, Jimmy from E Ortiz. And uh, my co-host, Josh, I hope that you all have enjoyed the show. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, please join us again tomorrow. We usually try to stream um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So and that's our schedule. Saturday. <laughs> and, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what. Take care, Risey Lee. Thank you for showing showing up. Josh, any, any last words for the audience? Uh. Why you gotta do that to me? Don't make me be the last word. I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, everybody. We'll catch you tomorrow. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a pleasure to host you guys. It's been a pleasure to have Josh on the stream. Uh, it's been a pleasure to uh, have Kat, even though uh, she had to go to the drawn and quartered. And I uh, hope to see you all again uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Let's have a blessed evening.